Okay, hey, this is a randomizer that I have designed using redstone. So if you need it for a map that you're making or something, well, this is what you can use. So, um, I'll test or show you it, and then I will show you the redstone. So you push the button here, and then you wait a little bit, and one of these torches will turn on. And then to show you it's completely randomized, I will do it a second time, maybe a third. You just wait a little bit. There, now it's two. And then I'll reset it. And this is uh, a fairly new design, so it, or a really new design of a um, randomizer because of the 1.4 repeater locks, which are really nice because that shortens up this a thing that's like the size of my entire thing here, and even a little bit bigger. And yeah, it's down into this little circuit here. Then these three lines are just for display. It, you could have it like, oh, oh yeah, because I already said it like this. So when they turn off, that's the one that it picks. But I figured it'd be easier for people to understand if they turned on. So I'll just press it again, and it takes different times for them to refer to randomize. So sometimes it might be almost right away. Sometimes you might have to wait a bit. And it's how the uh, dispenser dispenses them. Huh. Two again. That is the one that it picks. Because I'll have to do it again. Because it keeps picking the same one. So yeah, it, the dispenser will toss them in different uh, areas. Like sometimes it'll go left, sometimes it goes right. It's the amount of time that it's in the air that depends on how long it's going to take for it to fall. And then the rest of it and then once it hits the pressure plate, whichever one hits it first is the one it picks and then the rest of it is just making sure that what? hang on what is going on? is this what? 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 what are you, what are you doing? I, I tested you repeatedly before you did this why do you do this now? Uh, leg spike. Okay, that's right. Oh yeah, we were going for something other than that. I'll test it once more, making sure they're all firing. Sixty, sixty, sixty. Huh? They're all firing. Okay, one more test. One more. Oh, this time I'm gonna watch that. There we go verify that it is the first one, or middle one. And it is... Okay, middle one was the last one. There it goes. Yeah, see, it was just... Yeah, there's only three of them, so... The chances of it picking the same one are... 33%. 33 33.333333... However far you want to go, but yeah. Pretty good chances in this if that it's gonna get the same thing. So if you want to expand it, have like sections of three, like three here, then another randomizer here, then another randomizer here. Except, you no, know, I don't know how to expand it. I'll I'll eventually get it. And it's right now. There's no reset besides picking them up or waiting five minutes. So let's see if we can get something else again. And. Here they go eventually. Okay. Left, right, yep. See, it's totally random. Totally random. And now I'm going to show you guys how to build it, and it's actually fairly simple. So, yeah. Okay, so first you build up a pillar. Doesn't have to be too high. I'm going to make that a little shorter. Then you put a dispenser. Let's put it on top to make it a little bit higher, because sometimes it doesn't work. And then we won't have to put the pillar underneath it. So we put three pillars every other block, like this. And you can have it for two, but if you have it for one, then yeah, uh, you can kind of figure that out. So then you put pillars like this to make sure that they don't collide into each other. And since 1.4, if you hold shift when you click on a block you'd normally interact with, like this, you'd interact with it. But if I, I want to get on the block first. Uh, oops. Uh, 
Okay, I'm on the block. Now you hold shift, and then you right click, and you can place a block on it. Which is pretty nice. Instead of having to do it, like, something like, um, uh, stairs or something. And that's how you glitch it out earlier. And then how I was doing that flying, if you hold space and shift, you can crouch fly and still place the blocks and stuff. Which is really a nice trick that I came found out. So you just put the pillars up. Like so. And then you need to fill them. Like so. Just put a stack of whatever in. It doesn't have to be anything. It's just some kind of block. And then you put go down here. Put pressure plates there. There. And there. And then we'll run out redstone a little bit. Three or four blocks at first is good. Because we're going to be ripping apart most of the redstone. It's just... So, it's, it just makes it easier. So we run that out, and then we'll start with this side, put a repeater there, going into a repeater in the middle. And then from this side, we will do the same thing. Oops. So now, if it lands on either one of these sides, it'll take out the middle one. So the middle can't go on if the other two are. Now we'll take out the other two's middle, or from the middle, so if the middle lands, then it won't be able to take out, or the other two won't be able to activate. Then the biggest part is. Oh, yeah, redstone's really glitchy. Oh, I was standing on the pressure plate, that's why it went off. Okay. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah. And you put a repeater there, so now only the two sides can glitch out or mess it up. So we'll just run redstone over, like. So, and we'll put through thing there, repeater, and then we'll run the redstone back, and then we'll put redstone along here, then we'll put a torch, or not a torch, a repeater, there, so it power can make it. And now we just need to do the same thing on the other side. Why does this look so much bigger than what I normally do? Oh, it's because I p took it from there. So then you need to carry the redstone out a little bit more. Like so. And we need to go from this side. Let's see, this is at least one block away. Ooh, ooh, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so this is at least one block away from there. So we'll put the blocks there, run it across, and then put a repeater there. Oops, my one tick. Put a repeater there, there, blocks, some redstone, run it across, uh, run it across. Let's put a repeater in this hole here. Break that redstone. Run this redstone here out. I don't know why I didn't just put redstone here. And that's it. Now let me push this but uh, I need to... Oh, that's not it. I just need to do this quick. Okay, so I just ran the redstone there so you can power it. And I'm trying to keep this video short, under 10 minutes. So, pull the lever. Oops. I forgot. Okay, I forgot that you need to put the cobwebs in here. Like so, because they'll each drop it at different speeds, and now it'll work. So you pull the lever, the will fire, we'll get in the cobwebs. Uh, there, because I picked that one up. So it's not going to be that far one there. So now we'll just wait for whichever one lights up. And it was the middle one. And yep, only the middle one is lit up. That one still isn't falling, so I'll just do that to make sure. See, the middle one is the only one that lit up. And then now to demonstrate from all the other sides, as soon as I clear this stone. So for it'll have landed on that side first. Then, let's say the middle. Then the diagonal side. Okay, bounced out. So you put it in there. 
So they 